Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create an amazing arrow transition for your video in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have good insights and a lot of information about animating shapes in Premiere Pro, so be sure to check it. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as arrows, click OK. Import our stock footage onto our project panel. Drag the footage onto our sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have a driving footage. I will delete half of the footage for our tutorial's sake. Bring our second stock footage and place it here. Here we have this beautiful aerial drone footage. Again, I will delete half the footage for this tutorial. Click on this empty space and press backspace on your keyboard to join our two layers. We now joined our two layer. Let's start creating our arrow transition. Long press on the pen tool icon and select rectangle tool. Hold shift on your keyboard and make a shape like this. In the effects control panel we can change any color we want. Select the shape and place the anchor point in the center by holding control. Go to rotation and change it to 45 degree. Use the position and bring our shape layer out of our screen to the right. Now make sure that our indicator is at the beginning. Keyframe the position and place the indicator at one second duration. Use the position to bring our shape layer from right to left until we can't see it. Let's play it. That looks good. We now animated our shape from right to left. As you see our animation is plain and straightforward. We will tweak some keyframes to make it look more dynamic. In the effects control, highlight our both keyframes. Right click on it and go to temporal interpolation. Select busier. This will smooth our arrow transition. Click on this position arrow to get the keyframe graph. Use the left tangent line to drag it to the right a little. Now use the right tangent handle to left like this. Bring the left handle little to the left. As you see now we have this mountain like shape on our keyframe graph. This indicates that our animation will start fast at the beginning and become slower at the end. Let's play it and you will know how it works. That looks amazing. You can see that our animation starts fast and ends in a slow motion. It looks super good. We will start creating more shapes and starts animating it. Hold Alt on your keyboard and drag our shape layer to above to create a duplicate layer. Select the duplicated layer and we will change the color to white. You can see our changes in keyframes also been copied. Now drag our second layer three frames to the right. 
This will gives us that one above another shape look. Again hold out and drag it above to duplicate it. This time we will change the color to green. Place it 5 frames to the right. Again duplicate it and change the color to blue. You can choose any color you like, it's your choice. Click OK. Place it 7 frames to the right. We can change the color of any shape layer at any time, it won't affect our animation. That looks good. Select all the layers and right click on it. Click on the nest to group all this layer into a single layer. I will name it as arrows. Click OK. Double click on the nested layer and select this top layer. Right click on it and select copy. Go to main sequence. Place the indicator at the beginning. Click on this V3 track icon to select and click on this V1 track icon to unselect it. By doing this, when we paste our layer on this sequence that we copied, will be pasted on this designated layer track. Press Ctrl V to paste it. Click on this layer, go to effect control panel. We will change the color to black. You have to change the color to black so we can use our track mat. We will place this layer above our nested layer. Place this layer 8 frames after our nested layer. That looks perfect, you can drag it more if you want. Since our keyframe ends here, we will delete this unwanted layer side. We will now turn our shape into an arrow. Go to effects panel and type in track mat. Take the track mat key and place it on top of our nested layer. Select the nest layer and go to effect control. Since our black shape layer is on video 3 track, here we will change the map to video 3 track. Click on the reverse. And just like that we now created our arrow shape. Select this two layers and right click on it. We will nest it again. Again right click and select speed duration. We will change the speed to 500%. Click OK. Place the arrow layer right where our video is split. Now let's play it and see the magic. That looks amazing. We now created the perfect arrow transition. We will add another transition, press C on your keyboard to select razor tool and cut over here. Place another video and join it. This time we will change our arrow direction. Hold out on your keyboard and drag it to the right to duplicate it. We will change its rotation to 90 degree. As you see our arrow is now facing upward but the size is smaller. Increase the size a little. That's perfect. Let's play it again and see how it looks. That looks super awesome.
we can lower the speed of our arrow transition. Right click and select speed duration. I will change it to 200%, click OK. Place the layer right where our arrow is in center of our video. We will do the same to this arrow layer. Decrease its speed. Place it right where our arrow is in the center. Let's play it again. That looks super perfect. We now know how to create this arrow transition for our videos. You can change anything to customize the arrow as you like. I have created this project file with different types of arrow transition and added different types of animation to it. You can download this project file along with stock videos to learn more about this transition and its tricks. Go to this PayHip link which is in the description. You can buy this project for just $1. Consider this as supporting my work and at the same time you will learn lot more than I shown in this tutorial. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Payhip and Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.